So friends, let's see today's lovely puran pori recipe. Now I'm going to start with the puran. I've already put up a recipe for only puran, but I will repeat it in this video. So I've taken about two cups of chana dal, washed it thrice under water, and soaked it for six to seven hours in three cups of water. So let it soak completely. After that, I'm going to pressure cook it for one whistle on high and simmer it for ten minutes. Then we're going to let it cool completely. Keep a heavy weight on it. And let it sit for about another four, five hours till all the water is drained out. Then I'm going to take a non-stick pan, and I'm going to add this cooked chana dal, and I'm going to add one and a half cup of jaggery or gourd. You can use it as per your choice. Now I've also got one teaspoon of lychee powder. Once the two of them start to melt, real or you know blend together really well, I'm going to add the lychee powder, and I'm going to mix this really well till the mixture starts to leave the sides of the pan like this. It should become a real thick mixture, and if you see when I stir, it starts to leave the sides of the pan very easily, and it all comes together. So then your puran is ready. We're just going to let it cool completely before we start to uh, make the puran puris. That there's one more very important step after the puran completely, uh, you know, cools down. So this is the puran. So the consistency should be like this that you should be e easily able to make you know make a ball with it. So now our puran is ready. Now I'm going to take a sieve like this and place it on top of a, a vessel or a pan. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of nutmeg or zephyr powder. And now I'm going to mix the whole thing really well and run it through this sift or sieve, which has very fine kind of openings. And then this is a very important step, so don't you know, uh, don't kind of skip this step. And then you're going to get this very smooth texture of puran. So just get it all together, and then you're going to just put it aside till we're ready to make the puran puris. Now here I have one cup of all-purpose flour or maida, to which I'm going to add one cup of whole wheat flour. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt to taste. Now if you want, you can add only whole wheat flour, two cups of whole wheat flour. Or two cups of all-purpose flour. The choice is yours. And now I'm just going to add a few teaspoons of hot melted ghee. This will give it a very nice elastic texture, so it becomes very easy to roll out to the puran puris, and they don't break. Now mix all of this really well together. That is both the flours, the salt, and the ghee. And we're just going to add a little water at a time. And knead this to a very soft, smooth, elastic kind of dough. That's very important that you knead it to a very, uh, you know, elastic dough because then it doesn't. Once you put the filling in, you should be able to roll out the puran puris to a very thin consistency or a very thin, uh, you know, kind of a uh, roll it out to be really, really thin. That way, you'll get the perfect and you know, soft and delicious puran puri. So once this step is done, where you mix all the three ingredients well together, just add the water and start kneading it really, really well. So those of you who have never tried to make puran puri, try this out, guys. It's super, super simple. So now you can see that I'm adding a little water at a time. So maybe I used about one fourth cup of water, not a lot of water. And then just add a few drops of ghee and knead it very, very well. And now I'm just going to make them into smaller, you know, uh, rolls. And I'm going to roll them between the palms of my hand because I want a very smooth texture with no kind of, uh, you know, cracks in between the dough. It should be very, very smooth. So now I have my puran ready. I have the dough ready. I have a little bit of flour and my ghee or clarified butter ready. And I've got my pan heating up. I'm using my iron pan. You can also use a non-stick pan. Now just roll this out like you would for an aloo paratha, and then just put this in the middle, and then just hold it like this, and get all the ends together, and then take off the top, and then just press it down, and with your hands just you know kind of even it out, and then roll it to. You know, as thin as possible. The thinner the puran puri, the you know, the more delicious it is, and it's more soft and really, really nice to eat. So you can see the filling evenly spread out through the entire dough. 
and I'm just going to roast it like I would an aloo paratha. Roast it on both sides first without adding any ghee yet. Let it puff up nicely on both sides. Like this and only then add a few drops of ghee and your puran puri is all ready. And the ideal way to have it is to put a little bit of ghee on it and a little bit of cold milk or warm milk. The choice is yours and then just crush it up and enjoy. So I hope you like this recipe. I hope you give it a try. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. I hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you'll get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.